Low Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, what we have here is a new bag from Lynx Defense. This is the Bureau. This is the small SBR type AR pistol bag. I'm gonna give you some measurements on the outside, then we'll go into what I have on the inside of it. So, the outside, as you see it, I'll just run a tape on it. And I'm getting about uh, 31, let's see here, about 31 and probably a quarter. You know, I guess from end to end on the outside. And from here to here, now this is full. And from here to here, I am getting about, this is about 12 and a half inches. And the depth, now I'm talking about when it's full, not when it's empty. So these could vary on the website. Uh, it is about six and a half inches and I'm giving a little leeway with the padding. So this is completely loaded. But as you see, it is Lynx Defense Bureau. Kind of his, you know, incognito uh, brand, discreet carry. Uh, does have the tag here that just says the Bureau, handcrafted in the USA, everything is made in the USA. Does have his logo here, but we'll go ahead and get into it. On the top, it does have a really thick padded here. Also does come with a strap, and it is buckled here and here. And on the strap, it does have a pad now. You'll remember from the Bronx, that I did, it didn't have, the, or it had the pad, or it did not have the pad. Now he's putting the pads on these for your shoulders. So really nice there. And of course, if you wanna just carry it, this unclips, uh, and you'll notice on the back here, I'll flip it over. If you want to run the strap here from these, you can. And I'm sorry, these, you know, these bigger items are hard to video, so that's why I'm doing it like this. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Now the way that it unzips, course I'll show you here it does have the zipper here now it does have a pocket out here what I've put in mine and I've been testing this for a little while um, you know carrying it around stuff like that but what I've got in here is some hand sanitizer and just a notebook just a plain notebook you know with a pen so that way I can have that in here and you can put other items in here that's that's not a problem whatever you choose to put and you do have two zippers here, and we'll go ahead and unzip that. Now the way that I've chosen to set mine up is this way. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around and show you. Now you'll notice here, you have pouches up here. You can put items in here. Put items in here. And I've chosen to Add these in here. Got about four in here, I think. So they're all loaded. You know, you can actually take it, and this is what I was gonna show you. Rather than keeping your ammo loose in here, you can just keep boxes in here. And you'll notice that is nine millimeter, and that's for a reason. So you can put your boxes in here, if you choose to. There's a mag for the quick. Also, this whole backing on the inside, on the bottom here, is actually hook and, or hook and loop. So I'll show you there. And you can put patches in here. You can put what you want. So there's one of my Texas patches. So when you open it up, there's the Texas right there. Another thing I have, and if you choose to do this, I've got this that came out of a little, you know, one of those little nylon things you throw on your back. It's a little holster. You know, you could put you an extra small pistol in there and it's got Velcro so it actually sticks in here if you choose to use that. But here's what I'm using. Now this is just a quick carrier. It is not bulletproof or anything like that. It's just a quick carrier. So I've got mag pouches here and I'm always carry, you know, carrying my CZ P10C. Uh, so there's P10 mags, P10F mags that are loaded. Here's three additional mags that are loaded. This is a blue force gear and it's just a light belt. You just light chest rig, you just throw it on. It's called the SCAR H chest rig. So you can put uh, 30 cal in here, but I've got AR-15s in here. So we'll move this to the side. And then we've got the uh, AR pistol. So I'll show you right there. So I've got it locked in there. And it comes with three straps. Move this out of the way and move this sling out of the way. 
and this little holster out of the way. And you've got the three straps that you can pull. These two come with it, so they're the quick releases. And it basically just hangs like this, so I'll spin it around and show you. Once you put it in there and you put your straps on it, it can just hang just like that. Um, you know, you could put a holster here, you can put, you know, whatever you want, mag pouches somehow in here. Uh, but this is how I have it uh, set up. So this is just kind of a quick review. I'm still testing it, still running it, uh, you know, carrying it to hotels, things like that. But this is kind of how I have mine set up. I've only had this for about a week. So I will be doing a bunch more reports, but it is going to be released today on his website. So, and I will put the link below, Links Defense, and you can use my code. It's Big Johnson, capital B, capital J. That'll save you 5% off any of his bags or any of his gear. So, and again, code is Big Johnson, capital B, capital J, all smashed together. That'll save you 5%. So, really liking this bag a lot. Uh, this is a 10 and a half in here. So just so you know, you could get up to a 12 and a half. I have this completely, uh, com you know, closed. So there's my SP Tactical. And you could get about a 12 and a half in here. So just to let you know, just so you know. But I appreciate y'all watching as always. If you have any questions, leave them below. But this is kind of how I have it set up and I'm running it. I've been carrying it, the straps are holding up. You know, so far only a week, so I'm not gonna fib you. But uh, anyway, I'm really, really liking it. So this, as you'll notice again, is the Bureau. So if you're interested in it, this is the uh, SBR slash AR pistol bag, and I really think it has a lot to offer. So as always, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we always got to carry on.